Welcome to the Hey Sister Podcast. I'm Tabby. And I'm Rachel. And um, we have some fun knitting and sewing stuff to show you today. Yeah. Um, some fun yarn. Yeah. We actually have a good bit to talk about, which we is do. nice. It's super nice. We don't usually have so much stuff to show. I feel like we actually had a decent time um, amount of time to knit. Yeah, I yeah. definitely prioritized. Yeah. yeah. A little bit this month trying to get um, some actual time to knit and yeah, sew. Oh, good. You can find us on Instagram and Ravelry as Awesome Socks and Hey Rachel Make and um, Hey Sister Yarn Co. We also have that Instagram and um, we have our Ravelry group on Ravelry and we have our shop. Yeah, <laughs> HeySisterYarnCo.com. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so um, we actually have um, a super exciting milestone coming up in our shop and um, two years. Two years since we first opened and that was like a crazy whim thing and we've really enjoyed it. So. Yeah, for sure. It's like very exciting. But yeah. We have some exciting shop news yes. and like things coming up. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, yeah. And we have lots of knitting to show today. So yeah, we do. We're a little sewing. So I'm excited. Yeah. So I love, I've been really feeling the bug to sew and haven't had a chance to. So hopefully soon I will um, get around to actually sewing. So. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I spent like a whole day last week planning my sewing. I think last time we had the podcast, I had talked about my pile of fabrics, and I had patterns for each one that I wanted to make, and I literally have not done any of them, so whatever. But, you did so one, though. Yeah, but it wasn't part of that, because it's like a pile. summary. <laughs> it was, it was like a fall pile, and I had this, anyway. Well, so. it's 89 degrees outside today. Yeah, so it's October happy 8th. fall. Yeah. <laughs> October 8th. Is it your birthday week? No. No. Your birthday's on Sunday. Rachel's gonna be 31. 31. 31. And proper adult. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still a kid until you're 31? No. <laughs> I think I think 30 was that for yeah, me. 30. An adult. Anyway, so um, what should we do first? Administrative? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we had our big 10,000 subscriber giveaway last um, last podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how long ago that was. Three weeks, weeks ago it three was. Weeks. <laughs> wow. We did it in less than a month. Yay. So, it might be like four weeks actually, because you know it doesn't go over to that's true. Whatever. That's true. It's it's less than a month either way. So, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, um, so did you? Oh, leave? oh, sorry. It was Anna Ferguson. Anna Lee Ferguson. I do go to the screenshot. Oh, we yeah. took a screenshot. Okay. Okay. So the winner is, yeah, Anna Lee Ferguson. Anna, Anna Lee Ferguson. Ferguson. Sorry. Congratulations, Anna Lee. Yeah. If we're saying that right. That's a really pretty name. Anyways, um, you want to you wanna read her comment? Or sure. Read it? She said, congratulations, I'm finishing up a Yana pullover right now, and I'm so excited to get it finished so I can start the Valley of the Moon wrap by Shannon Cook, which is beautiful. beautiful. I love that. I and too. she has some Quince & Co. yarn um, for it. Yes. Oh, the first time using that. That's, I love that. that's exciting. Oh, and also, we like this. She says her and her mom do a Thanksgiving cast on every year after dinner, after everything is cleaned up. And she thinks she will start the yes, no frills, the strange. pullover. That is so fun. Like, I totally want to do that. On what a fun comment! I Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Thanksgiving, is and my that's like too. a great idea because they have it one is. for like Christmas time. That's so exciting! Yeah, because you have totally Christmas doing cast on. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Thanksgiving cast on with yep. Anna Lee Ferguson. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, guys, we're so excited. Yeah, um, so, so congratulations! Yay, Anna Lee! You could get a hold of us on Ravelry or Instagram. Or um, Ooh, there may be a way to message someone on YouTube. If there is, that would probably be the best way to get a hold of us because then we could verify that it's you. So we've never done a YouTube giveaway before. I don't know how that works. Anyway, um, yeah, Annalie, if you will get in touch with us, we will send you a $150 gift card to yes. our store, which um, we will be having stuff in very shortly um, for sale. Someone commented on um well, we have our November clubs up for sale right now, yes. but um, someone was like, everything else is sold out. Yes, we do do um, updates for certain certain things, yeah. mostly pre-orders, because that seems to work the best for you guys, so. But it works, it works out well. It does. does. Yeah. So, yeah. I like when everybody can get what they want. Mm -hmm. You know, do a mix. I like doing a mix of things. Yeah. So. And we have regular month, like, updates every month now, so of certain, like, they're different, but... Yeah. Pretty much every month we have a few different updates. So yeah. well, yeah. So basically, we could do shop news now, right? Yeah, shop just news. like shop overview. Yeah, to let for you guys sure. know. Um, 
Oh. So two years is no, but um, October fifteenth was yes. our first release that we ever had, and that was that was fun. It's the day after. It was birthday. so crazy. I remember everything in my room was really different, and we were sitting right over there on the computer. And, and I was like, we just got home from Pittsburgh because we went up there because it was my birthday. Remember, yeah. I made everybody oh, birthday <laughs> shop. <laughs> we bought fabric. Anyway, yeah. so that was fun. Period. It was a crazy day, and we had so much fun with it. And we sat there. Um, like just like watching and we were so nervous we had no idea how it was gonna go and it was so good we had so much fun we sold out like pretty quick pretty I quickly so, yeah it was fun it was fun and we were two years later that was a lot of work we've worked so hard <laughs> we do we work really hard but we really enjoy it and yeah. um and it was just it was the way we were set up before like i feel like we had to even work harder I to agree. get anything done and we had to work harder than than we do now for sure to actually yeah. accomplish a certain amount of yeah, we get so much more done now because we're so much more, like, efficient. But that's stuff you just learn. And so, yeah, I think it's fun that we had, like, our two-year anniversary and our 10,000 subscribers yeah, around the same time. Exciting. It's just, like, it's been exciting. We didn't die yarn the whole two years, but we figured we, we should go. We had a few go. breaks. Yeah. yeah. We had a few month, a couple month breaks. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. So, we are going to have a super exciting um, ready-to-ship update for our two-year two -year anniversary. It may yeah. not be on our exact day. We may wait till like Friday or what we do we decide? I didn't actually. I think it, Monday is my birthday is on Sunday, so it's the day after. So it's next Monday. Next Monday. Okay. Well, a week okay. from today. We will. <laughs> it's gonna be um, sometime next week, which is the week of our anniversary. But it may not actually be on Monday because it's kind of an awkward day to yeah. do that. And um, yeah. W w anyways, it's going to be a ready to ship update. We'll send out a newsletter um, letting you guys know exactly what day that's going to be. We tried to figure it out before today, but um, it was getting to the point where we're like either keep deciding things or actually podcast. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so we, um, yeah, it's going to be sometime next week and it's going to be ready to ship and we've got some fun little yeah um, celebration type things to go with it. So if you want to. So yeah. So first. Every order placed on whatever day it is um, that we have our update. Okay, so every order placed um, will receive a free mini skein in the package. And we're going to, like, dye up a, a certain, like, one color mini skein for everyone. And it's like a special, um, like, anniversary <laughs> colorway. So yeah, everybody will get a mini skein that pr makes a purchase. And then um, we figured we would like to do, like, another kind of giveaway. So anyone, what did we decide exactly? We decided... Um, we're going to choose two orders randomly um, that are, we're going to like have like a, a raffle. Is it a raffle? Maybe. I don't know. You know, like a... Um, the boys want to call them golden tickets, but yes. we're just going to do gift cards. Our husbands cards. have decided it's a golden ticket. They wanted ticket to be Willy again. Wonka, but we're going to just be... <laughs> <laughs> Come have a tour. No. Um, <laughs> oh, <we're, laughs> our horrible tour is so crowded and messy right now, guys, and it's so depressing. We need to organize it so badly. Before the boys came, we had it so, so pretty, nice. and it was like Instagram worthy and like... Yeah, it's bad. It's right just now. so cluttered, and we have upped our production so much since they've been there. And I think that's the main thing is obviously. we're just well, obviously, but like it's not that they're messy. <laughs> they are though. Oh, totally. totally. <laughs> <laughs> but we are um, we're hoping to get a bigger space soon with more power. Please, we can't. That's we a big issue for us. We could up our production so much if we just could have more power, which we is almost the frustrating. Like part. Quadruple what we're doing. Literally, like we literally could. So, yeah. Anyway, the golden tickets, <laughs> basically two people get, are going to win a $35 gift card to our shop, and we're just going to pop those into two um, packages. Yeah, it'll be like a surprise when you open it, so yeah, um, two of the packages, um, and we'll do that with our um, Shopify yes. kind of numbers, like order numbers and stuff, exactly. so we'll, we'll pick two numbers, so that'll be so, I think that's fun. I um, think it's super fun. Because we're just so, like... Two years is a big deal, and so much has happened in the last two yeah. years. It's crazy. Thank you all so much we're, for your yeah, support. And we're like, so thankful for the yarn community. That thank you guys for yarn. letting us do this. You know, it's great. <laughs> it is. It's it's been really exciting. Like, I mean, who would have thought two years ago both of our husbands would be working, working with, with us? Like, and... we okay. Here's how we thought about it when we started dyeing yarn. We were like, okay, let's convince the boys <laughs> to let us do this, and if it works, great. great. We'll have some extra money. If it doesn't, we'll we can dye our own yarn. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll have all the stuff to dye our own yarn. <laughs> so, that's basically the way we went into it, uh, thinking eyes and now. And you know, they both, both have so been. Gay. I know, like, literally, we'll just be, like, dyeing yarn and we'll be like, Sometimes oh, I feel guilty only knitting, knitting with our yarn. So, I've been trying to, like, 
buy other yarn <laughs> and like knit with it as well. But it's just so nice when you can yeah, it is. dye the yarn that you want. Especially if you're so. looking for like a specific shade or something. Anyways, this has been a super long shop yeah. news. This was supposed to be short. But, it's okay. Um, anyways, um, on what's day? Monday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On Wednesday. Yeah. Which so two days from 10th, now, October 10th, we're going to have a pre-order um, update. And we'll talk more about this later on, how we came to, to decide on this. But I don't know about all of you guys, but we're so obsessed with the Birds of a Feather shawl. We're going to have some pre-orders for some kits in that. And um, yeah. Anyways, and also some Kobu cats. Yeah. Yeah. It's a super fun one. So we'll put some kits together and like some pre-order kits. Um, and those will, we'll pop those up in the shop on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. So. And probably some other, um, yeah, we'll definitely have some like DK and stuff ready to ship because, mm -hmm. I mean, to pre-order. <laughs> oh, also one other thing I think we should mention for the anniversary update, we are going to dye up a couple special colorways, yeah. like limited edition kind of things. So yeah, we're going to offer them in like a sock kit or like a hat kit or something yeah. too. So, um, we have a couple colorways, uh, planned out for that and we're super excited. Yeah. But we'll talk more about this stuff later. Yep, we'll and we, we'll send out newsletters and Instagram. So I'll try to send out a newsletter on Wednesday as well, just yeah. detailing what we will have in the shop. So yeah, um, and that'd be nice if we could have more. Like yeah, okay, yeah. And anyway, sweet. So on to the knitting. Yay! All right. Knitting. Okay. All right. Um, so oh wait, no. What we're wearing? Sorry, I'm so excited. I don't ever have a knitted one. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm not wearing anything knitted. It's 90 degrees outside, literally 90 degrees today, and it was humid and hot, and I wore a knitted sweater. <laughs> you were <laughs> like, you were like so excited. I was still and I'm hot. like, my $5 H&M shirt. <laughs> Just kidding. I love my $5 I do. I do shirts. like it. H&M makes the, the best t-shirts, like, for me, as far as, like, fit-wise. I don't know. I, I really like it. Anyway, so I'm wearing my swag. Swig. Swig. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. But it is awesome. I really like it. It's it looks a little so awkward good. right now. But. No, like, just like when you're wearing it, though, like, it looks I feel awesome. super cute and, co like, I don't know. I really like it. Yeah, it's super comfy. Um, I do feel like sometimes I have to, like, keep pulling it down. So I'm not sure I wonder if you can fix what that, that blocking, is. like, I, if you I did do my it. tubular, like, feel that. It's, like, is it too tight? it's too tight. I'm so sorry. Um, I hate that so I don't know so why. Bad. I never do that. I do sometimes. Anyways, it's, so it's fine. Um... It doesn't okay. Look it's, weird. Once I situate it, it doesn't feel bad. It's just like it seems to ride up on my neck, and I don't know if it's because I have all this extra stuff down here that's like blousing. But anyways, guys, I love it, and I sweated in it earlier, and now it's like <laughs> look, it's like all like sticking Sorry. out right here, and it's driving me crazy. It I don't it I don't think do it's that really before. I don't think it's really bad. I it's think gonna it's drive bad. me crazy in editing though. Like I'm sorry, future task. Yeah, thank you, thank you, present Rachel. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. We're funny today. <laughs> I can't tell if we're like on the same plane or not. I can't tell at all. I'm sorry. That's okay. Anyway, so that's what I'm wearing. And this is in our yarn, um, which we've shown before. I think I finished this last week, but I didn't have it blocked or anything. But it's perfectly pink. Perfectly pink. <laughs> this um, is actually on our video. pure base, right? Yeah. And, and the pure base that we just re recently kind so of like 100% launched. merino fingering weight. We both really, really like it. Um, and I don't know. It's really crazy, like, the colorways, they kind of, like, glow on it. I don't know, it's weird. Like, it's not shiny No, at all. not shiny. It's just, oh, man. When we, we dyed up, that's what we dyed up for our No Frills kits that are all out now for you guys. I love how our colors look <sighs> on this face. Just having all the, like, our cubes of made us really happy. Oh, uh, made us so happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then this is Favorite Tea up here um, and down here, <laughs> the main body color. Um, so I ended up only using, like, not even two whole skeins of this really? stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, because well, I still have a big chunk stuff. left over, like thirty That's grams. exciting. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And then I re dyed one of the skeins for something later, but I'll talk oh, about that later. Fair. Anyway, so I'm super happy with it. I'm glad. I mean, it's still ninety obviously. degrees. Yeah. I'm glad I just stopped the shoulders. Yeah, for sure. The sleeves. You can, you can always wear like a jacket over in the fall, exactly. so you'll be cute. Sorry about the light, guys. Yeah, that's why to... we're tilted like this because. Of the yeah, light. our windows are here. And um, we were getting no light where we normally sit, so. so. So this is what it is today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, what were we talking about? Were we done? What were we talking Were you talking about your sweater? Oh my word, I'm done with that. Are you sure? Done with that junk. Junk? Okay. Um, yeah, so under. Finish what objects. we're wearing. So finish objects. Woohoo! Yay! Knitting. Go. Knitting. Oh, me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'll show these first because I finished them first. Oh. Okay, so these are my little Avery's birthday socks um 
They're so cute, you guys. These oh, are um, orange knits. Is um, in the patterns. I got the mini Rose City rollers pattern, and it says you can use those same stitch counts with the Jelly Rolls sock, and that so it's like a combo between the patterns. I use the oh, counts cute. from one, and then the pattern from the other. So um, anyway, they're so cute. They're so cute. Um, I'm totally knitting these for Lincoln. Anthony. I love them so much, and they um, are knit in. I made the 44 stitch count is what they are, and they're knit in Jersey Rising um, in the colorway Tooth Fairy, no. which I've had for so long. It was my first, like, indie dyed yarn ever, and I, remember when you bought it. I, I have two skeins of it, and I just kind of, like, hoard it. But um, finally made something with it. I'll probably make her, like, a teddy bear sweater or something with the rest oh, of it. So should. Um, or maybe, like, a so faded or something, like, little one. <laughs> this is a... Um, like a darker version of drizzle it kind of just got darker than the rest of them or maybe not even darker just more red yeah so like a little darker but yeah anyway i really love them and she loves them and they're super cute on like little ankle socks i don't they're so it's my first pair so of ankle cute. socks i love I a pair yeah i do too i'm definitely i should make myself matching ones i have enough of yarn that is a great idea that's actually i saw a really good pair on instagram the other day i think they're beautiful i think they're super fun way to use like bright exactly of yarn. yeah yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I my two. finished object is a little Harlow hat. Um, this oh. is the Harlow pattern by Andrea Mowry, and it is brioched. I used this um, this blue yarn is Artistic Lily, the the side, um, and I forget what it's called. I think it was something about the sea. Um, but then this yarn is a Madeline Tosh mini I had. Man, it was like paranora, paranoia, no? Paranormal? Paranormal? Yeah, I think it's See, paranormal. That seems right. I think so. I got it in like a kit of like 50 gram skeins to do, beautiful. I think it was like a, it was a, fade, it was a fade kit of some sort. I was going to, I was going to use it for a sweater, but I never did. But um, it's like, a, it has like this color blue speckles and like some like rusty speckles. It kind of just looks gray though. Like, yeah, it is, it is gray though with the. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is a gray yarn <laughs> with the um, speckles on it. Nice. So, yeah. So, I did this for my son, um, for my son Lincoln. It's his birthday in a couple weeks, but this isn't really for his birthday. He just needed a hat, and he really likes it. He kind of helped me pick, he helped me pick up the yarn, and he was always like, Mommy, you knitted me a hat? <laughs> I'm like, a blue hat? Anyways, I love the way he The talks. way he talks is just so funny. It's anyway. so funny. But I really like this. It is even cuter than I thought it would be. I think it looks I think so I prefer this way on him. Yeah, because he's so light. Yeah, so this is actually the inside. It's just, you, you can tell with the decreases. But it looks super cute on him. And I was glad to be able to use um, some yarn for my stash for And it, also, so. hey sister hat, Cal. Hey sister hat, Cal. Yeah, my first entry, even though obviously I don't get part of it. Yeah, but we have to participate as well. Yeah. So, um, I am planning multiple hats. I'm going to make my husband a Harlow, um, as well out of our cinder and taupe frost colorways, so good. which I may make myself the exact same one because literally it's like two of my favorite colors we have. So That's, I'm, I'm about to cast on two and taupe frost is one of them too. They, it just goes so well with everything, everything. And I think just cinder and taupe frost together mm -hmm. are just going to look I so need something great. out of cinder. I don't know what yet. I think I might... I might do the Kobuk if you, oh, you want yeah, to. You should. Too. <laughs> it was a good idea. I would love that. You should do it too, though. Oh, you, you, it was your idea, so you totally have dibs. But anyway. It's, it, cinder is one of those rare colors that looks really good on both of us. Yeah. Because like, we have very different coloring. Yeah, it's hair. like a mid-tone or something. Anyways. It's really good. But anyway, so he really likes it. and um, It's so cute on his little He hat. knows, like, I knit it for him and stuff because he, like, understands that kind of stuff now. Um, and it's just, it's really fun. So... And then he was like, Mommy, you knit in daddy a hat? And I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> Every time something comes in the mail, because our Amazon, like, subscribe and stuff, subscribe and save stuff, has like, come in the last couple of days, um, Avery's like, is it my hat? I'm like, what? She's like, you're knitting me a hat. And I'm like, I'm not knitting you a hat. And she's just like, a pink hat? And I'm like, well, do you so want me cute. to buy you a, a pink hat or make you a pink hat? Make it. I'm like, okay, well, it wouldn't come in the mail. It's just, every, is it my hat? It's okay. <laughs> well, now you have to. Yeah, I need to make her a hat. For sure. Anyway. I think I'm going to make her a Kobuk hat, though. 
I'm going to make one for Jules, I think. I can't decide. There's, I also want to do that fairly bonnet. I might make a little um, one of my hats for her instead. Oh, that would be so cute. What's it called? Gable. Gable. I'm so sorry. Okay. You should do that. That I would should. be that's she a, has a pink idea. one. So, anyway. Okay, yes. so my right. next finished object is, oh, I don't know who did this. Svetlana Lakova. Ooh, wow, good job. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Oh. If it is, I will be, like, mind blown. Sure. Anyway, this is a Bloomsbury sweater, and I... Is this the second one I've knit in? Oh, my word. I love the first one, but this one is just so beautiful. It's knit it's in so um, Shalimar Yarns. Um, Enzo Aaron is the Aaron so it's, um, but it's a cashmere, and it's so beautiful. It's ballet slippers or something oh, like that. It's like a perfect, like, It is just the tannish, most perfect, like, like it's neutrally, like a lighter version of perfectly pink, and it actually looks like my, looks my one feet that I'm knitting, uh, my, per- my, uh, non superwash. It's so beautiful, you guys. What a beautiful pattern. Hold this here. I want to knit it one for Jules, but without hair, I think it might look funny with all this lace up here. With her little oh, I got you, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, oh, my word is so pretty. Um, it's so soft, and she loves it. It's just, she wore it the other day. It was so hot. <laughs> she wanted to wear it, though, because I gave it to her on her birthday, and then she, uh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. She, lo- she loved both of her things, and she told everybody when she was wearing it, my mommy made it, <laughs> and it so was so sweet. cute. So, yeah, they're at a really fun age right now with that. So, anyway, I am super, super, du- super duper happy with that. I think I made the 12 month size. I, she just really, three. yeah. Um, it may have been the 18 month size, but I, it's a little bit big. She's just like so petite. She's so And um, I just knit it longer until it was like the right length. So, um, but yeah. No, it does. It fits on there perfectly. It's just so beautiful. It is such a fast knit. I started this though, like a year and a half ago, maybe. <laughs> so, but I finally finished it. I stopped. You have a lot of work. Some, yeah. A lot of things going. I'm really it's happy good. that it was not too small. Me <laughs> too. After all that. So, okay. Okay. I have a mostly finished object. Ah! I'm like, <laughs> it is finished, right? Uh, yeah, all the sewing, or all the sewing, all the knitting is done. I just have to block it and then seam like two four inches together. So give me to help you or is here. It like, I don't know, like okay, I'm trying to get it to the window. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, you can see that. Anyway, this is my Veronica cardigan. It's so I beautiful. literally bound it off last night. Um you can see here what it looks like. Okay, sweet. Nothing. It looks like nothing. Okay. There you go. There we go. Yep. And it looks just like a blanket. I'm so confused about this thing, but I'm so it looks really good when she puts it on. Here, I'm gonna <laughs> sort of put on like it's gonna go. Anyway, so it's kind of going to be like this, and then you seam the ribbings together, like, to make these armholes. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, it's, yeah, so it's, like, two inches on each side you seam together, and it makes this, like, shrug. Anyway, it's, um, definitely needs blocking. It's really oh, nice lengthwise, so but, like, I need to, it, it stretches, so it just needs to be, like. I love it. It's so pretty. Quite aggressively blocked. I really may do this exact same I love one. it so much, and this is out of... Um, this is the Veronica Cardigan by Shannon Cook, <laughs> and um, it is out of Brooklyn Tweed in the cast iron colorway. Shelter. Yes. Brooklyn. So I don't know. I, I just can't think right now. Sorry. I'm like trying to talk and I'm like all over the place. Anyway, yep. So it does this weird thing where it pushed my hair. Like <laughs> anyway, just did it again. <laughs> anyway, um, I really. I was not. It's like, so I thought I would like it, and it would be, like, super cute and cozy, but I'm actually surprised how it's much I like it. It's like, just so beautiful. I, I just wasn't exactly sure how I was going to wear it, but, oh, my word, I cannot wait to wear this with long sleeve t-shirts under, or even just, like, a short sleeve t-shirt. Do. That's, like, I need to make a bunch of long sleeve yeah. t-shirts to wear under it, but I love it so much. I love it. Oh, uh, my word, I love it. I've got um, drizzle I, to I, knit it up in, and... Sorry. I don't know if I want that in the black, sir. Are you kidding me? You have to do the drizzle. You I'm, can no, do I'm the black one, too. One. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I just don't know which one I want first. I'm definitely going to do no, both. do I the think. drizzle because it's so it's true. I will. I will do it. because. But, I mean, I don't care because everyone should have a black Veronica cardigan. Just, and, you know, this one wouldn't look good as good on me as it looks on you with your blonde hair. So I think I really like it with my hair. Like, Tell me what you think about the drizzle. Yeah. With my hair. Um, it's amazing. It's good. Are right? you kidding yeah. me? It's not too... Yeah. Or tabby. We've... 
I need to cast it on this week. Oh, wait. You seriously should. It is such a fascinating... I took a long, like, I like long breaks on this. So I've had it on the needles for a while, but it did not take long to knit at all. I That's mostly what I knit on this, like, month. But, um, not really, because I knit Lincoln's hat, and I knit... I knit on Levi's socks. Anyway, so... Yeah. I love it. It is so good. My word. I love it so much. Anyway, I don't want to take it off, but it's not even, like, a thing. It's just, like... My word, I have so many whips mm. today. It's, it's have so you guys comfy. noticed that we're actually giving you information? We're about... trying really hard, so... <laughs> like, on the last two or three podcasts, we're editing it, and I'm like, we literally didn't say who made this pattern, <laughs> what yarn we're using. Like, anyways, so needles, nothing. But, yeah, so. I think I said everything about this. I do... I did not make any modifications to this. Sort of what? Thing. That's like a first. That's awesome. Well, yeah. it's perfect. So. That's perfect. Yeah. So. Is it, you made the first size? Yes. There's only two sizes, I, I think. think. There were three. There might be three, but there's no. like, there's, they're very like. She was showing on her Instagram last week how she wears both the one and the two. And really? like, was one like, was more like fitted and cropped and one was more like oversized and slouchy. And, and this is yeah. what I, I wanted it like hey, loose but cropped. Like not super long because. Yeah, I think it'll just look better with my clothes. Should I make one crop? Yeah. Thing? I mean, like a one, well, the two. The okay, one. I think this is smaller than a normal one, though. Like, I feel like, because... You can stretch it to the dimensions, though. I didn't, I didn't swatch. I think you will be able to, but, um... I love it. I didn't swatch it, but I only use. I think I only use six games of shelter. Um, That's crazy. Which is really crazy. I may have been seven. I thought I only had, I have two skeins left over, so... I think I only bought eight skeins, but I might have bought nine. Receipt. I should. I was going to do it before today so I could tell for sure. But We will update you guys. Yeah, and I'll put it on my Ravelry page when I find out. But um, So it was either six or seven skeins of shelter. And I was pretty close to the end of my last skein oh. that I used. but Because um, I caked up another one and I didn't even touch it. That's awesome. And I have one. So you know you have two skeins of yeah. cast iron. That's I might awesome. make Levi a hat out of it or something. But I love it. And I might. I don't know why keep I'm it on. I was like, weird. I just, no, <laughs> you should keep it on. It's so cozy. <laughs> I feel so cozy even though it's like 90 degrees. Well, it's nice and cool in here. We have turned the air conditioner yeah. way down. So. I'm going to keep it on for a minute. Because I, I don't want to do Look at us in our knitwear. Yeah. I wanted to wear it today. You wear knitted stuff all the time on the podcast. And I hardly ever do because. This is my why. fifth sweater this this year. Dang. Which, I know. That is so awesome. That's I've, pretty much all I've knit all year. Two, but I've only finished three, two sweaters, one, three, if you count Avery's. I finished two sweaters. Oh, I did knit Jules a sweater, so it's my sixth one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've only finished two sweaters, but I'm getting close on a few other ones, so I'm excited about that. Um, anyway, so it's getting so dark. Oh, I'm well. going to take this off. So I have two FOs, and I'm going to kind of show them at the same time. But um, this uh, is a waiting for Henry sock, and uh, this was knit for my mom. For Mother's Day. <laughs> I only got my Mother's Day for them today, so I'm yeah. Gonna, anyway, um, she's forgiven me because it has not yet been cold, cold enough. enough to wear these. But um, she's going to stop forgiving me soon. So um, <laughs> so there's stock number one, and um, I'm going to cast the second one on. Um, I had to wait until I could try it on her. Have her try it on. <laughs> Sorry. So this is... Um, the 64 stitch size and um i changed it to use a heel flap and gusset gusset for my mom because she has a higher instep and she likes her socks to not be super tight as it is so a little bit oversized and she's really excited to wear this with her boots we have the same boots mom and i and um we're going to twin with our waiting for Henry socks too yeah. I think. that's awesome I really wanted another another pair of this. I color, really, I really want. To I don't know. I'll have time too. Yeah, no. I should probably knit her other sock <laughs> first. But this is in our colorways noir, um, shell and sepia, and this is one of the kits we usually offer when we offer those. So, mm -hmm. oh, it's my favorite. It's my it makes favorite. me want to work on my. Tukum, it's my so. favorite of the kits. It's number five, and I don't know. I like them all, but this one is my favorite. So, okay, so there's that. Um, knit on size. One nine inch circulars, chow goo pattern by Tabitha pattern by Candy. Tabitha Candy. <laughs> um, I love that pattern. I, really I love it. that pattern too. It makes me want to work on mine too. I should pick those up. You should. I have to re knit the color work because I did it. Too We're tight. so busy, guys. Okay. Oh, we'll talk more about that later. But okay. So, and this is a new design I'm coming out with. Um, this is for me. Look at that. Some selfish knitting. Ah, it's so cool. 
Um, anyway, it's just like a simple, someone suggested to me the other day, varsity socks. And I like yeah, that. I like anyway, it. It's kind of sporty. I like sporty things. And, um, so yeah, this is a new sock design that I'm, it's a fairly vanilla Can sock. they see that it's reverse I stock? I show it up. Okay. I think it's okay to show that, right? Anyways, it's a reverse stock in it sock and it's, anyway. It's so cool. It's super cool. I went in a bunch of these. I love it. I really wanted this and I wasn't sure if it would look weird, but, um. Anyways, I'm going to uh, have a bunch of different sizes down to, like, toddlers and stuff. So, um, hopefully it'll work out. Anyway, this is knit in Madeline Tosh um, Euro sock. And this color is Fur Wreath. And this is our latte colorway. So, in our 100% merino, which I know you're not really supposed to do. But I have not had any problems. I don't wear my socks super heavily. I have a lot of them, so they get rotated pretty well. Um, so, yeah. I... I love it. I feel like I mostly wear mine around my house, so it's not like... I wear mine in boots and around the house. I just, most of my boots are, like, shorter, so I do wear them, obviously, with my... Oh, my, the ones I wear around the house. Like, I need to... Anyways, I have, like, one pair I wear around the house, and it's they're getting rough, so... Anyway. Okay, okay so that's, that's my all... other half object. That's Yeah, I think that's... Those are most of what I knitted on this month, so... Okay. I really wanted to finish my Veronica. You did. I did. Yay. Okay, so whips. Whips. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. So. You got this one behind you, too. Oh, yeah. I was going to I forgot where to put it. I didn't do anything with it. Okay, I couldn't find it earlier, and it was right there. So, okay, this I have started. I do. Uh, okay, whatever. This is my teddy bear sweater. It's not for me. It's for my daughter, Juliet. And um, it is out of our hand dyed yarn in the let's see if you can see this made it brighter okay cool i'll have to try to focus oh. on okay i apologize guys i'm like remote viewing here and that's why i'm looking at my phone not okay, well, i'll keep talking go ahead okay. anyway um this is our yarn in um gilded um and our this is our cashmere base actually in gilded in um this is our pink. fluff Perfectly pink mohair. So beautiful. So, um, fluff is just what we hold, call it. Hold it up close so I can see. Yeah. I'm try to. Let's do so, There you go. Should be focused on the yarn. Anyway, I really love this. And this is going to be a teddy bear sweater for my daughter. Hopefully for her birthday. I'm not sure if she'll wear it on her birthday or I'll just give it to her on her birthday. But, I mean... <laughs> she's gonna be one. Oh, so. it's so beautiful, um, you guys! I haven't. Seen I kind of hope she can wear it on her, on the birthday. Anyway, I barely started it, but I just cast it on because I want to get it to where I can just work on this and have it by her birthday, which is only a little over a month away. I kept thinking it's like two months, but like so, it's like a month and two weeks. <laughs> it's crazy. Because <laughs> Lincoln. Holy cow! Yeah, they're gonna be a year old. Yeah. Anyway, so a little like a month and a half, but. It's so soft. You can tell. Like I know, like the mohair makes it soft, but the cashmere yeah. with the mohair, it's oh, ridiculously soft. So um, yeah, I just have the neckband done, and I just put all the stitch markers on, and I have to start the raglan increases, which I'm super excited about. It. I think I'm knitting the one to two year size because um, she's, she's a. I mean, she's not super tiny, she's one. and she's pretty tall too. She is, so she's very long. I wanted her to she's be able to narrow, get some. Like, wear out of it and it's okay if it's a little boxy so I'm excited about it um me too and I really like the yarn choices there I think last week last month last podcast yeah we were talking about color choices for that and I really like what I picked I think it's gonna look super cute anyway I'm not sure what's happening here okay <laughs> so I've got in my little sheepy here mm -hmm. sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. anyway I've got my um a gable cap Gable oh, cap. There we go. You need to finish that one. Man. And I, I do need to finish it really quickly because I really want to cast on a hat for Henry, and I can't because this is my needle. <laughs> um, I only have one. You're so close to being done though. Yeah, you can finish it, it in like long. a day. I just haven't been focusing on it because I've been trying to finish other things. But um, oh, I need a hat this color. I'm so. I mean, I've always been obsessed with mustard, but this year it's bad. Like because it's everywhere too, and so it's really <sighs> everybody's readily... getting good mustard yeah. fabrics, which is the thing for me. Like. I've got like so three <laughs> mustard fabrics waiting to be sewn up, and I've got I got a mustard top, and yeah, it's I gorgeous. am super happy, and I want to have this. I like that color. It's um, 
making a black coat. I feel like you should make a black coat. Do it. Anyway. Cool. All the coats. All the coats. Anyway, um, I am yeah over a third of the way done. So, and really won't take long. It works up really quickly. Anyway, I love this color. It's um oh yeah, it's Brooklyn Tweed Arbor in the Klimt colorway, and yeah. Oh, I also would like to see one in Halcyon. Oh my word. Mm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't need to knit another one. Um, anyway, no, no, um, our grandma wants a hat for Christmas, so depending on what color she wants. Um, like to, driftwood would, would be really pretty on grandma, though. Oh, that would or be any, beautiful. Hold on. Yeah. Tote frost would be really pretty on grandma, though. That's a great idea. She would Maybe I'll do some mittens with tote frost and something else. Tote frost and black or, or, or sepia. Pink. Oh, yeah, my. <gasps> looks so good next to oh, sepia. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Okay. Sorry, brainstorming here. Exciting. I'll put that down. Okay, so yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Projects. Okay. Um, I don't think I worked on my cereal socks at all since last time. I just have not. It's crazy how fast months are flying by. I know. Okay. Oh. This is something I cast on literally, what, last week? But That's I, crazy. I only knit it, like, one day. She was like, I think anyway. I'm going to make this. And then she's like, I made it. <laughs> I did. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> okay. okay. So I'm knitting a shawl for, like, the first time this year. I did knit a wrap cowl thing. That's so cozy. But this is, like, the first technical shawl. I've knit out of the exact. All I've knit is black yarn, and I don't even mind. I could knit with black yarn exclusively if I could oh, only had eye color. <laughs> but um, I don't like knitting with white or like white yarn very much. Cream is okay. White, not white. Much. Yeah, plain anyway, yarn is hard for me to knit. This with. is a fox wedding sweater or shawl, not a sweater, okay. by Sylvia McFadden. Soft sweater knits. Yep, <laughs> and um. Yeah, I really like it so far. I've technically finished it, but I've actually added some onto it already. Um, I'm using it's not knit on side dates, right? No, it's just. Support. I I had it on. I'm going to show you the cord. <laughs> I've knit this whole thing. On the, it was really funny. This guys. cord is literally like what, a 32 inch cord, yeah. or maybe anyway. It was like completely bunched up, and I could barely knit into the stitches. So um, I ordered a 60 inch Chowgu size 11, and it got delivered today. But you're not at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I just put it on my 60 inch cord that I was using for my Veronica since I'm done with it now. And so you can kind of see it. I really like it. It's a drop stitch in garter like thing. Um, but I think I. Okay, I definitely didn't swatch or anything. It's out of, like, chunky yarn, I think. And I had a skein of um, Brooklyn Tweed Quarry in the Obsidian colorway. And I was looking at one day, I was going to make a feature out of it. Um, that's why I had bought it. But I was like, this would be really nice. I'd like a black shawl. This this whole year, of like, I know I want a black shawl. But anyway, so I decided just to go for it. And I don't think it's as chunky. I think it's, I don't know what or is I'm technically sure. categorized as, but I don't think it's actually um, the right weight for it. So I think that's why it's quite narrow. Um, but I did have to buy another skein of it, nope. and I've already wound it up. And I've I got the first like the actual shawl. As well, yeah. Sorry. Hurry because um, we're really losing light. Now. Okay, it's okay. not going to be bright for much longer. We're good. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. Anyway, it was written to here, but. I just um, started my... I'm going to do a few more repeats. It's so cute, though. To make it bigger. I just want a really big, um, cozy shawl. So I definitely didn't want it to be short or small. So anyway. Okay. But yes, yeah, so my, my shawl, I black shawl it is super squishy. Did you have squishy? I did. I was like... It's, it's really amazing. confusing when she's holding that and her... Which... <laughs> they're literally the same. The same exact color. It's like slightly less black than... Oh, and she's got that in her. Oh yeah, beautiful this bag. is in my woolly bean bag, which my Veronica was in, so it's like barely different for me. But um, when it got too big for this, I put it in my woolly bean bag, and I love it. And look, this ginormous. <laughs> no, it's crazy when they're freshly wound. Anyway, love it. Let's so back just a touch. Yep. I'm gonna scoop back too. Oh my goodness. The okay. legs are like going to sleep because they're like not. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's power the big deal. Okay, so I have in my fringe bag, which I'm starting to realize is mine and not Rachel's. Good, I'm glad you're accepting it. I, I, I'm getting there. Anyways, um, this is my shawl. Oh, 
Steve had a good name for it the other day. Oh, and I don't remember, because I like October, but he called it, he called it Suspension or something. Ooh, uh, I like it. I don't know. Isn't oh, that pretty, though? Because it does kind of look like a, a suspension I like bridge. that a lot. I like it, too, so maybe we'll go with it. Oh, it looks a little And it's, like, kind it. of, like, it's designed after that one yeah, bridge you like, exactly. right? Exactly. <gasps> I thought I it was good. It. I think it's really good. Okay, so it's actually done. October um, suspension. <laughs> just October suspension. <laughs> this is Rachel's birthday shawl. And um, she's so nice. <laughs> anyway, um, I just have to bind it off, which I couldn't decide on the binding, how I wanted to bind it off last night. And um, I had, had a headache. So I was like, I'm not even going to try and decide right now. So anyways, here it is. It's it's actually pretty big, but I can't stretch it right oh now because of the cord. It's so beautiful to have you. It's um, knit in Brooklyn Tweed shelter so it's so squishy um and some of it is brioche i should let you put it on but it's okay um i'll be wearing it plenty <laughs> seriously it's i love it so, so funny much. when i do this okay so oh look how cozy that is it is so cozy i want a white coat to wear you have to make your white coat i am going to it's gonna go so awesome with my sapporo so this was designed for rachel and i am gonna like write it up if i can i I am not a super experienced shawl knitter. I've knit like four shawls maybe and only two triangle shawls. So that was like but a you long knit time ago. So I you're did. Good. You're a pro I knit now. It. Um, but I don't know how to write it up yet. So we'll see. I do plan to write it up into a pattern, but um, it's knit in Brooklyn Tweet Shelter and the colors are fossil and postcard. And let's Please. see what size I knit this That's on. That's good. Probably an eight. Yep. And you only it's need an eight. <laughs> what? Two skeins of each. Two skeins of each color. And I don't think I even used two full skeins of the of the fossil. That's so, so that's such a good like I mean four skeins of Brooklyn Tweed is not that bad. It's like a if good for a gift really, knit and it goes really quickly too. So if I can figure out <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean obviously you can use any what worsted weight yarn, but yeah. like I think it's really I fun to play with colors like think that. that um, Brooklyn Tweed is super good to knit brioche in, especially if you're new to brioche. Um, well, we'll drop stitches. Exactly. You Maybe. really don't drop stitches when you drop them. So, um, but yeah, oh, wait, wait, look at two, that. Sk two skeins of each color. The border is so pretty. I'm going to knit a gray one, I think, in just a gray one out of my snowbound. Yeah. And we'll see. So this that. is what I have left for the bind off. It should get be plenty. This is what I have left of my second ball of postcard. Um, I probably could have knit a few more rows, but I liked the proportions, I think. It's so beautiful to have you so there's that and Rachel's birthday is not yet here so I have a gift completed on time as I long as I bind it off before that dude and block it I would like to have it blocked because I'm curious to see how big it's going to be once it's been blocked so I'm excited I love that shawl though so I'm super super happy that I actually I, can't, I still can't it. believe she's giving it to me I was like are you sure you want to give this to me <laughs> like I trust me I would be really really sad but I wish I'd give it to you like, it's, it's gorgeous. How could you, like, I would be so, like, I could always knit another um, one. I'm going to just keep you. this. I'm just kidding. I know. But I, I'm very happy you're giving it to me. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. It's it's kind of hard to, like, knit something for a knitter. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it. So okay. I was like, Good, I, I'm glad. I almost cried when I put it on her. Like, I'm like, she I can't believe you're going to give it to me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to stop being crazy. Okay. All right. So what's your next one? I think those are all the ones I have to show, really. I don't have to show many more. I have been on a few things that um, I can't show quite yet. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I never I'll show them next that. time, so it's cool. Guys, I need suggestions for a DK weight sweater. I actually have several suggestions already, so I probably don't need any more. But I can't decide on what DK weight sweater I want to make. With what? <laughs> My DK Oh. <laughs> I, have, I have a sweater quantity of CPN. and I changed my mind on what she I want to do with it. Like, Knitting something and then taking it. It out. was ridiculous. I did. I cast it on like three times. And well, I, took it out. I would never do that because I do not enjoy casting on. Like, I didn't particularly enjoy it either. It was a ribbed cable cast on. Have you ever done that? Um, I don't know. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not my favorite. I might just go do a tubular cast on. Anyway, here's my no frills. Oh my goodness! You and just need to knit this. You can and see only this. this is where I was last. That's good progress. Podcast. Oh look how beautiful it looks with that stitch marker. I know I love oh, it. Word. I don't know why it's in, not in the middle. <laughs> anyway, I love it. It's so soft, and I have a decent amount done. I have um, separated the sleeves, which is going a lot faster now. But I haven't knit on it in a while because I 
started focusing on Rachel's shawl so I could get it done in October. Um, anyway. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's Did you see soft. that my color craft had some, like, oh my word, yes. Her new stitch markers are so beautiful. Yes. I need to stop buying things. I know. You do. Okay. <sighs> That's bad. Anyway, I, this is exactly the color I wanted. That's actually why we came up with this colorway. It's latte, and this is in our pure base, and our fluff base, mm -hmm. which is what we did our no frills kits in. I might do my rose out of that. I don't know. Oh, such I want to have a rose out of it, too. I thought you were going to do a different color. I am. I'm going to do that light gray. You um, could do a rose out of it, too. That'd be I know. Cool. But, like, it's I, just exactly the color I wanted. I also want a green one, so. Our day about color. I don't know. Can't decide. So happy with it. And, oh, my word. Was this after the last podcast? But I... Oh, guys, it was, like, Slippers. devastating. Oh, yeah. I was knitting this. And I don't know. Was Avery? No. It was Maybe it was Avery's birthday, yeah. Which was after the last podcast. Mm-hmm. So, I had, apparently, someone had, I, I didn't have chocolate in my bag. I don't know who did. So, I don't know if one of my kids put chocolate in my bag. Or, I had been using the bag that this was in as my purse, kind of, for a week or two. And, I don't even know. Like, it had gotten left in my car, and there was some chocolate in there. Unwrapped chocolate. I'm sure I didn't do that. That's um, insane. Yeah, it smelled like a Reese cup, maybe. Or a Butterfinger. Maybe. Oh my word, you guys. It was like so melted terrible. into my sweater and into the cakes of yarn. And it was like solidly dried into the sweater. Like, I don't think I've felted it. And you can't really tell. Let's see which I cannot believe that. It was over here. I've gotten most of the color out. Like, you can see all. a little bit right there. Let's see. Anyway, it was crazy, guys. And it was like devastating. I was like, it's ruined. And I had just separated. About to separate for the sleeves. Separate the sleeves in. Anyways, it was bad. So. It's so sad. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It was awful. Oh, there's my gum. Sweet. And Henry socks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my hand cream. There you go. All right. Is that, let's see. Do you have any more knitting? I do. Oh, well, look at you go. Knitting. You did knit I've done, a lot. I did. I knit a lot this month. I was pretty, like, focused on I probably won't show this because I only knit. Um. Anyways, this is my... Christmas Eve cast oh, from a year and a half ago. Good job. <laughs> and I knit like an inch on the sock randomly. Um, an inch or two. And uh, I'm getting close. I have to do a fish lips kiss heel on that, which is the problem. I've only ever done one fish oh, okay. lips kiss heel. And that was on the other one of those socks. So anyway. If I do them, like, one, I can usually do it again pretty recently. Like, anyway, whatever. It's, not like, it's like a chip. <laughs> These come, do you ever get these in the mail? They yep. come in, like, car dealership things. Anyways, like, a little poker chip. And my kids, like, collect them. Anyway. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So, I'm not going to talk much about this because this did is Did you actually my... work on it? I did. Good job. I worked on this a good bit. Um, oh, yeah, I remember. Um, oh, a, a good bit. It's, like, an inch and a half. But I haven't touched my... I only worked on it for, like, a few days after the last podcast. But um, you can see in there the yarn. Can you see it? I don't know. I think so. It's I can see so it. so pretty. Okay. I'm obsessed with this color combo, so I'm just going to show it really quickly because I've talked about this Seriously, a thousand yes. times. So it's knit in Madeline Tosh, um, 801010 DK, and I'm holding it upside down because, so. anyway, you can it's see okay. here, let's see, can you see? Yeah. Um, I was on the first line of the color work, on this color work portion last time, and now I am on the last, like, two or three rows That's of that exciting. color. So that after that I get to split the sleeves off, which is going to make it a lot faster. So, um, I really want this. <laughs> it's so, feel how squishy it is. I will, like, if you're going to finish yours first, I'm going to be so jealous. Aren't we erasing on that? Oh, darn. I shouldn't have even brought it up. <laughs> I, I showed you on the no girl sweater. It. Look how pretty it looks, like, in a pile with, like, cast iron. It's beautiful. It's going anyway. to go just piled on top of mine, or, like, mm -hmm. with mine. I'm super well, excited about it. I have to finish this thing. I just, like, counted up the other day, and I'm knitting, like, five off white tannish colored sweaters it's like well it's ridiculous. apparently what you want to wear and that so. is the tecumseh sweater by caitlin hunter of voiland networks what yarn did, did you know. already say the yarn? i did okay montage i don't know what i'm doing it on the recommended needle size we'll have the color names whatever that is cool. yeah okay so cool. uh, a few more nope just one more i want to show this because um we are going to have meet cute drop this stitch worker like a sweater <laughs> drop this um, sweater I'm knitting these socks in Meet Cute, our, one of our colorways that we, it was like a one pot, 
wonder type thing. And uh, we're re recreating it for the um, for our upcoming update. I love this colorway. Um, I wish I would have brought my CPM over here. Just, it I would have been nice. beautiful. Anyways, we're going to offer birds of a feather kits with uh, Meet Cute and um, Sepia. Sepia. And also, it looks really good with the Taupe Frost. Ooh. Um, yeah. We were packaging up orders and like just some of the combos that people ordered mm. were so beautiful. And so like a good bit of this pre-order update is inspired by people's color choices when they ordered from us. So anyway, this is my white, white thorn socks. Yeah. Hold it right between us. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. It's so pretty, you guys. I love this design. Oh, Lord, look how beautiful I know. That is. And I'm gonna turn it. Here we go. Look at that texture. This sock has made me like obsessed with moss stitch, and I've got like a few. I really want to knit those. I mean, um, seed stitch slash moss stitch. See, this is seed stitch, right? Yep. I don't know. Anyway, I am obsessed with that lately, and I want to incorporate it into a sweater design that I'm thinking of. So I hope it works out. Um, it's so pretty, though. Okay. Um, I had to take them off two at a time because it was so slow going and it's so much faster when you only have to do one. Um, right. like, especially a cable sock, but it's really easy. I have it memorized. It's not like, um, I really want those socks for fall. So yeah. And it's on our Geronimo sock. I love it on Geronimo. Yeah. The meat cute. I'm recently really liking our Geronimo base fur socks. So that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all of my knitting. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And do then you want to do knit? Well, why don't you show your showing? Show your sewing. And then we'll do sash no, enhancement. Do you want to do sash enhancement? Let's do sash real quick. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool. I didn't bring my fabric. I should I didn't bring my, my yarn. <laughs> I'll get my pile of yarn. Um, nope. Not going to get my pile of fabric. We'll show it when I sew it. I'll show it when I sew it. Great. So good. Show it when you sew it. I'm so stupid. <laughs> anyway, stash If you want to show it, though, nope. it's beautiful. It, it, would it is be. beautiful. I put it up on Instagram a couple days ago, so. People, some people saw it. Okay. Put a picture. What? I'm like always volunteering you to put a picture up. I'm like, put a picture. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> um, maybe I will take a nice picture. And I did pre-wash it all though. That's exciting. Yeah. And my last batch of blackboard fabrics that I never pre-washed. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, stash enhancement. Um, we went. We went on a super, so much fun. super fun. Um, trip to Columbus um the two it was like the first vacation we've ever been on together it was like really fun it was just like a couple of days but we like we had been working really hard and we wanted to get away for the weekend and we did it was like really like last minute but we had we got a really really good deal on the hotel and we had a lot of fun we swam we ate what's up okay okay <laughs> anyway we had such a good time and it was really fun we went and shopping, shopping and we ate Yummy food. I think I, she had been there before. I had not. It was it was a really nice little. I really loved the hotel. We shopped there. Big shopping area, actually. So yeah, it's really cool. And then we went to a yarn store. Yes, which we was did. super fun. Um, we don't get to go to yarn stores often. Um, like actually, it was a good. Stores. It was a big yarn store. Like it looked it so little, and then it was just like there was so much of it, it and was they had good so yarn. Cool. What's it called? Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, Knitting Art Temptations in Columbus. I don't know if it's actually in Dublin, Dublin. Ohio. Um, anyway, we went there and we had a super fun time. The ladies oh. were really nice. They, they were, were really, it was nice. really fun. It was nice to see like sample knits. Yeah, they had a lot of sample knits. Really good ones too. Yeah. There was so. a hipster shawl. Yeah. And I just sweaters. like carried around with me for a few days. We're just like wearing it around the shop. <laughs> um, I feel like, anyways, I got this yarn, Blue Sky Fiber, Blue Sky Fibers Wool Stock, which is worsted. And I really like it. I'm going to do... A hat for Dave, and it's really soft. What it's like, are you going to design it? It looks like Brooklyn Tweed, kind of. Like, like yeah, it looks like so soft. It has to be wool, but I don't know if I'm going to design a hat or if I'm just going to make it super it my soft. Hat. I wish I would have gotten some I of might this. just make like a simple I just couldn't decide. knit hat, like it's just a regular beanie, like a, like a socket hat type thing, mm -hmm. like with sure. worsted white yarn. Like, well, this color is my favorite. It's is such so a good, good color. It's green. Is it really? <laughs> no. Wild time. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, like wild time. time. Yeah. Herb. That's awesome. Herb. The yeah. herb. And then, um, and then. It feels so nice. Midnight Sea. Get two of those. And I'm going to make Henry some <laughs> Driftwood. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Okay. So, yeah. I have plans for that for my boys. 
and so sweet. Yeah. Really good colors. Really good I colors. I wish I would have gotten some of the green. And this I really blue like that. is so unique. Oh, um, some have you, I've not seen anything else this color. I bet you that so one really put some on purple colors. Or similar to this. That, was it called Peacoat or something? Yeah. It may be similar to this. That's like how that I always picture like, it. It's not teal at all. It just it's has like not. a teal undertone of a blue. But you look at it and it's straight navy, but then it's, really it's a little cool. bit of a teal undertone. In it's, different lighting, it picks up more, I think. So. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, in this basically no lighting that we have now. Hey, I'm not it super gray weird. anymore. That is really weird. That it was looks so like weird. a zombie. <laughs> she did look like a zombie. It okay. was scary. Okay, so that's my stash answer. You want to go? Okay. A few more. Sorry, I got gotcha. you. Okay, wait, I don't have any sessions. Got you, who? Oh. You show yours. Okay. I, I have a few skeins that I, yeah, I didn't bring with me, so. Oh, yeah, I did get some, um, what did, what was it, haiku, maybe? Oh, yeah, it was gorgeous. It's, it's another like bamboo, green. um, it was a green. You should send me a picture, maybe, and we'll put it up. I or <laughs> just show it on Instagram. Yeah, but it's really pretty. Um, I went, I'm planning on making mittens out of it. Um, I think the brackets. Beautiful. I don't know how you say it, but um, it's bracken. bracken. I don't know. Mittens. Um, we are obviously terrible at pronouncing things because I hear different people pronounce things different ways yeah, all the time. All the time. So whatever. Okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna focus on the pronunciations of nope. things too but, much. But yeah, and I would I would have brought it, but I totally forgot it. Okay. I have um, Tope Frost, and these are wound up because I'm gonna knit Henry a Harlow hat. Oh my word! Oh, Henry, he's gonna look so cute in it. Um, anyways, this is Taupe Frost on our pure base, and this is sort of, um, noir. noir. I, I took what was left of this sweater yarn and I dyed this, so it's pretty a little much. darker than normal, but it's going to be really good in the hat, I think, so. Oh my word, I love it so much. So noir and driftwood. It'll I mean, be beautiful. <laughs> so noir and Taupe Frost, um, I think it's going to be just the best like neutral hat and it'll look good either way I think I'm so. really excited about Levi's I really I'm gonna want to keep it so I'm badly but it was a really fun knit so I don't think I'm like knitting like two yeah, or three I of love those. knitting brioche like it was super it. fun that was my first proper two color brioche yeah I so. love two color brioche I've never done it in a round though so I'm excited that was one of my goals this year so yay me yeah nice I'm super excited about this I kind of this one looks so it might knit day one too and then steal it so we'll see anyway that's all okay. of that. That's sewing, awesome. sewing. So I sewed a thing. Um, I made a Willamette shirt by Hey June Handmade. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my <gasps> word, guys. I love this fabric. Okay. I want some more Shop This the fabric Mercery. is from Shop the Mercery. On, I mean, it's not on Instagram, but I, she's on Instagram. She's on Instagram. Yes. And she has her website. But um, she, she picks beautiful fabrics. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Her and Blackboard are my two favorites, and I could buy fabric from both of them all the any time. Any day. Like, all any them. day. You, yeah. I have a, I made a cart, because I went to look for something there. I would say some that, I think I went to, she has some really gorgeous corduroy in her shop right now, mm -hmm. and I want to make um, Juliet a little skirt to go with her teddy bear sweater for her birthday, so we'll see if that so happens. Cute. But I She has a, a cart there. With them. Okay. That I hopefully will buy one day. Okay. This is from Shop La Mercery, and she put this fabric on Instagram, like, in the summer, and I wanted a Willamette top out of it so badly. Um, I was not actually for sure on the pattern until I saw the fabric, and I bought it. I had it cut out, like, a month or two ago, but I um, just didn't feel like sewing it. It seems kind of summery, and I was really wanting to, like, sew some fall clothes, so. <laughs> okay, but yeah, Willamette shirt really quick sew actually um i'm gonna make one of those it took me a day to sew it and i really like it i had to fix my collar a couple times too because these little points kept like looking well different. it's hard with this type of fabric too. yeah like they did were did you interface them i did okay I'm, i was saying it looked like it was interfaced so i was curious yeah i did interface them but i really love this and it's exactly how i envisioned it i it do is. think i might like tack it you can put a button here but i don't like the look of it so i might just sew it up a little more so i don't have to always wear an undershirt because like it's a button like would be fine but not with that fabric yeah well yeah for some of them i like it just yeah. not with this fabric so i might just sew it up a little bit so it'll just stay a little more close because yeah, it's, it's very i mean open. you have to wear it. <laughs> otherwise so I really love it though. Um, it looks super good on her. She wore it yesterday. And it just feels like so flowy. And anyway, it feels really nice. And I want to make yeah. like a pajama top with that pattern. 
it's kind of like that. It is, yeah. But it's just part. I just want a pajama top. Yeah. Yeah, but it was called a Juliet floral crepe and it was even spelled the name. And so once I went to actually look at it from Instagram, I was like, okay, yep, not gonna buy it. Anyway, it's just silly, but I love it. And I'm very, very it's hard for me to find a floral that I want to wear a lot. Like I love That's florals. such a perfect neutral floral. I want some of that. But too. I noticed that if I just buy like any floral I find, which I have done, they just don't make me as happy. So I have to be very choosy. I'm really a little bit nervous about the one. I mean, Yours? I, no. I love it so much. No. It's like a mustard floral. It's a really good one. But like, I don't always want to wear my Rifle Paper Company which, floral. Which is crazy because it's beautiful. I love it yours. I don't like... Anyway, it's just sometimes and like that. I never want to wear I, those four. My dress like that. Sorry, we're like <laughs> surrounded by clothes. Yeah, I hate my dress. Your your dear and dough. Okay, I don't hate it. When I actually wear it, I actually feel kind of this wasn't a good fabric for it. It's just not. No, it was too lightweight, and it's not even that as much. It's like it's too small of a print for the dress. I think maybe so. Yeah. So anyway, living you so you so and you learn. <laughs> We are just on so it today. So full of the okay. sewing puns. <laughs> okay. But no, it feels really good. And now um, I was actually wanting to sew, but not really wanting to sew. So I want to sew like hardcore. I just have not yet had it. Okay. Now when my I house do. is a mess. I hate to sew. Like I can sit in my room where it's nice and clean and knit where I can look at my clothes and my yarn and stuff, like, I can do that. But, like, it's hard for me to sew. My sewing room is, like, right in the middle of my house. And everything gets thrown there. And, like, it just, it takes a little more energy to get up and sew because you're always. But then at the same time, it's so much faster than It's so much faster. She made that in one night. One day. I mean, yeah. But I, no. I I really love it. And I want to knit. I want to to sew. I have two more versions that I may do. So we'll see. Yeah, we got to go. Yeah, we got to go. Sorry. Um, anything else we need to talk about the shop? I think we talked about everything. Anyways, if we forgot anything, we'll include it in our shop newsletter if you guys are interested in that. Yeah. Babies. So I we'll, think have, <laughs> we'll have um, update information in the newsletter. So anyway, thanks for seeing what we've been making. <laughs> thanks for joining us today. And thanks for entering our giveaway last week. It was so much fun reading all those. Okay, we gotta go. I'm so sorry. Sorry, she's just screaming. Bye, Thank guys. you. Bye. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Hey Sister Podcast. I like literally feel like I'm like on repeat. It's okay. It's just the basic stuff. But um, yeah, we have the Hey Sister Yarn Company. Just a second, sir. Oh no, that was. Okay, go ahead. Daddy's gonna make some hot dogs. Are you wearing my heels? <laughs> yes, you are, baby girl. Look at those legs. That's pretty Woo! impressive. Oh, They're on the wrong feet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Crap. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Okay. Then. I say so, yeah. Like, literally. Oh, is this the watch? Or his phone? Okay. Oh, it's me. Hello? Um, I can't text you right now. Um, okay, I, I'll text you. Yeah, I love you. At least we were already. Oh, it's so much darker And then this is kind of like a. It was like a. is so loud out there today. We apologize. But, um... <laughs> Woo! Okay, I got real giggly up really quickly for some reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't even funny. Anyway. <laughs> it makes you laugh when you're like this, because it's usually like I'm... <laughs> okay. Okay. You're like gray! I know. I'm Why like, are you gray? You're like nice and skin tone. Why are you gray? <laughs> like, that's a little better. It looks like I'm in another dimension. <laughs> Guys, we apologize for Rachel. She's in the upside down right now. <laughs> it's like creepy. <laughs>
Okay. Wash the thing. Maybe it's just the way it's tilted. It's like, you know how when you look at a screen, not. Yeah, you don't look as gray on here. Okay, so hopefully it's not as scary to you guys. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what are you talking because about? Because it literally looks like we're sitting right next to each other and I look like straight up gray. Yeah, you need to get weird. Look up. It doesn't need to get weird, guys. It's true. <laughs> You know, I just hurt myself. Oh, okay. we, can't, we can't talk. But you kind of like that. Okay. We kind of lost a little bit, but. Okay. okay. Oh, it's so. Come here. I'll show you real quick. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come here real quick. So she wanted to try her sweater on to show you guys. She's got some flutter sleeves, so it doesn't look quite great. Here we go. Can you see? There you go. Look at that hair. Your hair is amazing. Okay, Jules, go back okay. out and see if Jules is okay, okay? She looks so pretty though. I love you, baby. My lips are what is that? Do you want that hat? You can have it. Go on. We'll see. If it fits you. If it doesn't fit you, I'll keep it, okay? Hurry, shut the door, baby. I, I, I just want the pink hat. Oh, oh I want the pink hat. She just wants a pink hat. Sorry, Dave's like dancing around down there. <laughs> He looks like a little boy. He does. His shirt's a little too big. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway. You so should send cool. me a green and we'll put it up on the podcast. A picture? Yeah. I say green. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay. You should. Okay. I'm going to do it again for the podcast. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Um. <laughs> It's easy to think of Tristan now because she said something I want to wipe up with. So, you yeah, love Tristan. I do too. But um, every time I say that now, it makes me laugh. Okay. Um, um, I have a card set right now <laughs> on my. Anyway. I'm sorry. I literally. Can't. I have a card set right now <laughs> on my bat now. <laughs> no, just kidding. I hate myself. Because I can't stop. <laughs> okay. Um, I finally did get around. Sorry, I just accidentally made it really bright. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry.